Everything scapegoats back in an episode of Long Drive. You know the deal. 50 kilometers. Oh, mo. And, uh... This, oh, there's so many poos everywhere. Um... Coily? Oh, we got a couple coilies in here. We only need one. Oh, look out! Do you want to know something really awful? Watch this. Yeah, you can eat the poo. Can you believe that? Gross! All right, Coily. We got Coily. Where's Loggington? Are you in here still, bud? Oh, no. Okay, we need new Loggington. But yeah, we're going 50 kilometers. Ah! Excellent. Perfect. Nice. All right, this is going to go well. I can feel it. It's going to go so good in my bones. Any minute now. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, it's very squirrely today. Why is it acting like this? Yeah. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thank Mrs. is coming up. Should be um, pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm going to pee. Ooh. <laughs> Feels so warm against my skin. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, Doing things. It's about mental health this year, so I'm super excited about it. So if you want to come see me live stream, that'll be starting sometime in November, because um, I think I'm going to try to do the entire 5,000 kilometer journey in this game, possibly. We'll see. Hey, look, is this something coming? No, it's not coming up. I thought it was something. It was nothing. It was nothing. Where we at? One, one and a half kilometers. Not bad. Not bad. I like this. It's not very hilly here. I could get on board with this. All right, let's see. We got a got a corner coming up though. Oh, there we are. Yeah, these big tires are helping. Although I don't like the rake to look at all. <laughs> it's it's not doing it for me, but that's fine. Uh, it does have to look good to get the job done, right? Yeah. How are you guys been? What are you doing? What's happening? Do you have any snacks? I ordered snacks. Um. I like snacks. I like having a snack from time to time. I'm really into, like, salamis lately. Yeah. So, when someone asks you if I've been messing with my salami, I have. Oh, what's this? Oh, what? What kind of road is this? What? Who designed this? What's going on here? Stop it. That was awkward. I'm not sure who designed that road, but that was, that was a terrible idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't hit the pole. Ugh. Yes, flat country is the best country, man. It's like being out in the prairie provinces here in Canada. If you've ever driven through, like, Saskatchewan or Alberta, well, until you get to the west edge of Alberta, but it's uh, very flat. Oh, there we Oh, whoa, whoa. There we are. It's getting nighttime. I don't like nighttime. It's when the roving packs of fills come and they try to teach you dance moves. And I am not in the mood for this. Okay. Oh, oh no. Lots of trees. Lots of trees. Lots of pole. Lots of pole. Oh, God. I don't need that pole inside me. All right. Let's keep going. Uh, it's getting real dark. Should I be stopping for the night, maybe? Yeah, probably. I don't have my lights on, so it's probably a good idea just to kind of at least slow it down. Oh, here we go. Sleep driving, sleep driving, ba -da -da, sleep driving. I'm going to die because I'll hit a rock and it's stupid. Okay, here we go. Do you know I have that as a ringtone you can buy, believe it or not? It's like a buck. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh no, I can't see. I can't why can't I see? There we go, that's better. Gotta get that bright light out of the way. That bloom really gets you. JJ Abrams would be so proud. This is progressing smoother than it humanly should. I thought we we're gonna end up in those mountains, but we're headed that way. Oh. There we are. Yeah, it's good. The sun's just really blinding right now. And I got a spot on my glasses, and it's right where I can see. If you wear glasses, you know how stupid that is. And as weird as, like, it'll be, like, some spot in your glasses. Like, how did that get there? And it'll be something, like, sticky or something, and you're like, I haven't even eaten anything or anything. And somehow that got on my glasses. It's, it's uh, just sticky flying around the environment. 
I did get shatterproof lenses though, which is nice because <laughs> they're all like uh, a composite nowadays. So I like that. Ugh. And I always got to get ones that'll fit under like safety goggles and stuff, or otherwise I'm uh, I don't feel like shelling out money for prescription safety goggles. Whoa! And I wear safety uh, goggles at, or safety glasses at work quite often. So let's see. You get a spitter. You got to protect your eyeballs. All right. Let's see. Oh, look at this. It's so flat. This is great. I see something out there. It's a fill house. There's lots of fill houses around. Okay. Yeah, this is just off the road here now. Apparently, we just don't use the road anymore. It's just a mere suggestion. We're definitely hungry. We're hungry. We need to get some foods in us. You right there, Coily? You were down. Oh, no, no. Oh, ho, ho, I threaded the needle. Did you see that? Yeah, suck it. Ha, 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 ha. You're not beating me, game. Yeah, teach you how to play me. That's right. That's right. What's that? What's that floating up there? There's a fridge just fell down into the well. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, all right, you know what? What do we got here? We got half a tank of gas, just about, and... I'm trying to see how far we've got here, but I can't take my eyes off. 10 kilometers already, not bad. Not bad at all. This is old long drive with more bends. This is long drive with more steps. <laughs> oh, no. Why can I see the poles over there? I think we're coming around. Hey, you know what? Sure, why not? Yeah, they need to get the parking brake to work like in movies where you can slide around corners and stuff. Oh, I'm going to keep my speed up if I just cut this corner slightly. Ooh. Tree. Rock. Tree. More rock. Oh, no. Rock and roll. Okay. Ah! God, there's so much stuff. Look at we're going back the way we came. All right. Okay. Oh, there's another rock out there. Oh, just slid off the road a bit. Otherwise, the car's not handling too bad now that the back end isn't skipping around like a stone on a pond. But otherwise, you know, it's great. You know, I can live with this. And it's, uh, I think after this episode, unless we find something interesting, uh, it'll be time to swap up cars again. This one's looking mint, though. I'll give it that. Although the mirrors need some work, but that's fine. Okay, yeah, yeah, we're coming up to it. Oh, this is a really tight bend. Apparently, it's tighter than I can handle. All right, there we go. Uh, let's keep going. 2024, it's tighter than I can handle. <laughs> oh, crappy tire. Nice. It's my fave. I still need my hat. Where's the freaking hats, man? I'm half of a love cowboy. I'm a love or a boy. I'm not both. Uh. Oh. Yeah, we're going to cut these corners if you want to uh, make any good speed. Besides, there might be something to eat here, and my dude's kind of hungry. So we're going to stop there. All right. Oh, here we go. I feel like I'm always on my edge nerve-wise, you know, when it comes to stuff like this. Now, I do have food beside me. Um, I'm just saving it for emergencies. I wouldn't consider this emergency situation just yet. Oh my god, it's a whole truck. In a van and a trabon? Well, poop a doop a loop a snoop. Alright, let's go see what's up here. Boy, whatever decision I make here, someone's gonna be upset with my choice. Hey, Phil, are you here, bud? Oh, hey, Phil. This is a pickup truck version of the van. Kind of love it. Kind of think it's pretty great. Oh, and the side's open on this. That's a neato burrito. Do we like this? Do we love it? It has an engine, but I think we'll swap in our engine. Anything else good here? Let me see. It's either that truck there or this 
thing. And I think if I'm going to get a truck like this, I want it to be the one that holds fuel. Because at least with this one, I can, like, drain it. And Is there anything in it? Is there fuel in it? Where's the fuel tank? Must be on the other side. Okay, well, how does one put fuel in this? Oh, here it is. Is it? Gas, oil, and diesel. It might run in order for me to get it over. Let's give it a shot. Okay, it doesn't run great, but it runs. Okay. Now the question is, do I want to keep this little engine? What engine is this? Oh, it's that one. It's a diesel. Yeah, we're going to have to swap that out because I don't find enough diesel fuel for me to be able to justify this. Yeah. Okay, come on out, engine. I need you to slide out here, bud. Okay, we're kind of stuck here. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is like a little... Is it, or is this a two-stroke? Is that what that is? That might be a two-stroke. Maybe that's it. Either way, all this has got to be removed. We're going to use our own engine. Engine coolant was empty. You can leave now. Okay, let me see. I gotta get this out of here. There we go. I wonder if I can get the engine in there first. Oh, which oil is that? There we go. There we go. Ah. Also, there's probably some cleaning supplies in there we could use. I wonder if I can slip this in through the front. Here we go. Boom. Oh, it fits. There we go. That'll work. Perfect. And you would never even know. Oh, yeah, you would. We may have the intake sticking through on my foot, but that's all right. All right, let me see. Now, the wheels are going to have to change out, too. I think we'll just go with the same setup we have on the car. And we'll uh, put the big wheels on the back. And I might even keep the hubcaps, because hubcaps are fun. All right, here we go. Hubcap. Yeah, I'm kind of digging on that look. All right, let me see. You can get out of here. I'm keeping these hubcaps. We're not even move the whole family, too. That sucks. All right, let's see. You can go over here. Yeah, it's looking kind of cool with the... The bigger wheels on the rear like that. You can get out of here. Okay, you can leave. You can leave. All right. Put this on here like this. Put that back on. There we go. And we'll grab the other one. We still got a hubcap to move. I forgot about that. That's cool. It's cool, essay. I got it. There we go. We could probably run all larger tires on here if we wanted to. A very minimal problem. Now, we do got to drain the tank. And then somehow get fuel out of our tank into it. But otherwise, it should be. And I think I can just do it by pushing over the tank. Let me see. Let's see here. We're going to push. There we go. <laughs> this works. How much is left? Jesus. Doesn't drain all that fast, does it? There we go. Come on. We got to get some of the gas out of my car. Isn't, there isn't a lot in there, so if we can just find a jerry can, uh, we should be able to do it. How much is in here? What am I stepping on? Step it. Let me see. Okay, we got 15 liters. So if we could find a jerry can, that would work fantastically with our not a snake. Oh, we even got spray already. Look at this. Oh, it's nice and red. That'll give it. I thought you could put, like, fix the bumpers and stuff on these. Whoop, look out. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. We got a bucket. Bucket holds, what, 10 liters? A jerry can would be honestly best if we could find one, but really we need a couple of things to brush that thing up. Oh, there's a brush right there. Perfect. Yeah, might as well get this thing looking as mint as possible. There we go. That's good there. This can be brushed. There we go. Is this fixable? No, nah, it would have been fixed by now. I think you can fix it with maybe spray, but not with this brush. Okay, where's it gonna land? Eh, we lost it. That's fine. So something, uh, we also need food right now, actually, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it. There we go, I'm gonna fill this up as much as possible. There we are, there's 20. Let's see if we can spray clean on this. I don't know, I think a little funny pickup truck might uh, might do us some good. There we are. There it is. I'm not sure how clean it can possibly get, but we're going to keep trying. We could use this bucket, but the problem with using the Nana Snake in the bucket is the bucket's very, very tippy. But I think I just saw something that might work fairly well. There's a little, I thought, yeah, there's a, a gas tank over there for a motorcycle. That'd be good to drain it into. Gotta drain the snake. That doesn't get cleaner. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's as clean as that's gonna get. Clean as that's gonna get. Okay, we need one more side spray. God dang it. You know what you should be able to do is spray on it and it makes it look wet and then if you use the sponge, the sponge works better. Seven in here. This should be enough to finish up that box. What, what is happening here? Why is this? Okay, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> Let's go. Hey. These things keep getting in my way. Get out of here. Little miniature hubcaps. Get out of here, and then this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, it won't, it won't turn or anything. Okay, let's um, get the Rick Grimes gun out. Get that out. This will not turn for some reason. Oh my God, would you just come out of here, please? Jesus. Okay, sorry. It's having a moment. We're good now. Oh, that'd be so cool. Okay, this is just, this will not rotate around at all. I wonder if I can stick it to the side of this thing without causing too much trouble. Mm, I like that. Kind of works. Now, I do have 20 liters of fuel in there. But for now, we're just going to throw stuff in the back and see what happens. Because none of these have bullets or anything in them, so I'm not worried about losing them. Okay, we need, um... Well, this is... Oh, Koile, come on, buddy. What What is everybody getting stuck on? Like, what is happening here? Coils? Oh, my God, buddy. Why are you going through the firewall? Okay. I think we may have to eat some of that uh, road meat here. There we go. There we go. Karen, come here. Okay, we got Karen. Karen, you know what? She's been non-complaining complaining this trip. And if I bashed her head like that, I would be complaining. All right, here we go. I think we have a dumper. Okay, we okay, can't hang on a second. <laughs> what I meant to say was I think the bed dumps. 
And uh, this might be the perfect vehicle for collecting fills. There we go. That's all good in there. Okay, there. It's closed. We're good. Okay, I just need to grab Phil, and we're going to toss him in the back, and we're going to keep going. Uh, you know, we should probably have a nap. It's getting dark. Let's get in here. All right. Have a little seat here. Uh, and we'll have a little nap while we're waiting. Uh, and now we just got to transfer the gas lean over, and we should be good to go. Perfect. Good morning, everybody. All right. Hi, Karen, sister. What are you doing? All right. Unless we, do you know it's weird that I haven't found any food here? Anybody else notice this? This is gas. Alcohol. Water. Now, people keep saying, why don't I put alcohol in the engine? It doesn't add enough power to justify fiddling with it, to be honest. I've done it before. Not worth it. It's an engine. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's um see I saw this. Now this is a motorcycle gas tank, but what you can use it for is transferring fluids and it works very very well cuz it's it's harder to tip over than some of the other objects. It's not impossible. The game's got really wonky physics. Someone said that once that I should rename my channel to Scapegoat Fights uh, Unity Physics, and, you know, they're probably not wrong. All right, let me see here. This has got gas. Okay, we're going to put it here. All right, and then we're going to put it here. Why is this not working? Oh, wait, let's put a tire on it. There we go. Got to get a little altitude. There. Close that up. Take the not a snake. Put it back to two, and we'll take this with us. Now, I'm telling you, if you ever got to transfer fluids, these little tanks are great for it. If it lets me ever do it. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, we got to know how far we have gone, too. Okay, thank you. 15-2. You know, I might be able to swap that out. Hang on a sec. It's a very similar design. I might be able to make it fit. So that way I don't have to... Do any math in my head at the moment. Oh, here we go. Let's see. That kind of works. All right. Nice. All right. So we don't have to think about that. That's great. Um, hey, Phil, you want to come for a ride, bud? Now, this is going to end in tears because every time you have a, a Phil kicking around, they fall through the bodies of vehicles. So we're going to see how well this goes. Oh, sorry, Phil. Okay. I believe this lever here, handbrake, and then you've got to get out of here, Karen. Thank you. Oh, no, that's the gear shift. Maybe this is, oh, wait, did I, did I close the uh, gas tank? I did not. There we go. I think we're good. We good? All right. Don't fall to pieces on me now, Karen. All right. Excellent. Okay, this definitely doesn't handle as uh, quickly as the other one does. But Phil's in it for the in it for a minute, so let's see what happens. F Phil, no, my dream of a wagon full of Phils has been shattered with removal of Phil. <laughs> All right, okay, that's fine. 
Which means we'll have to collect other random junk. What other piece of junk could we throw in there? Poos. Definitely poos. We should throw a bunch of poos. The physics would break so fast. I'd be I'm on board with breaking the physics. Boy, this thing's kind of fast. Ugh. Whoa! And it handles better than the car. Who designed this? Sheesh. Oh, we got a big tight corner here. Tight like a tiger. There we go. This might be able to drive over the small rocks, too, without getting bottomed out. But I, I don't want to try it. Here we go. Baby. Baby, yes! This is very... Uh, okay, this is too fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't get too squirrely too fast. I like this. What's that? What is that? Is that a fill house? Or is that just the other house? Might be the other house. Speaking of which, I haven't really seen very many of those houses yet. Well, this thing's actually not that bad. Uh-oh, I found I might have found my permanent car. It drifts, but it's very easy to control, especially these big tires on the back. It slides out faster than the other car, but it's far more controllable. No snap oversteer. Yes. Yeah, I'm on board with this. I don't know why this is so good, but it's so good right now. Uh oh, what are we going? We're going right. Like, it, it's not... Like, it, it's taking a lot of effort to make it spin out. I don't know if it's because I got those big wheels on the back. I think the grill may need a polish, too, now that I'm looking at it. But, that's all right. Maybe the truck bed has uh, physics, like Fizzlock on it. Maybe that's why the stuff isn't moving around. It used to be that everything would slowly work itself to the back of the truck. Oh, I forgot my, my air rifle. Ooh. That's not going to go be good. Oh, well. What are you going to do? I don't really need it, and they're kind of everywhere, but if we find one, we should definitely scoop it up. They're just handy because you can carry so many bullets. Very, very easily. Like, the problem with the AK is you just end up collecting magazines. Like, you can't just find bullets and, and reload the gun. You gotta, like, collect magazines, and that, that sucks. Yeah, this thing's magical, man. This is the David Blaine of cars. It's magical. Real magic. Oh, we got a building coming up. What do we got? Oh, God. Okay, not too bad. But I am bleeding. Okay, hang on a sec. Damn it. That's not great. Hopefully we can find a sponge or something. Okay, and this goes over here. Yeah, just kind of couldn't quite get it to do what I wanted. And which hubcap did we lose? Is it the front one? Hmm. There's blood on the road. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh no, we lost a gauge. And a radio, apparently. Oh, that was my fuel gauge, too. Well, let's get up here and stop. I didn't see it on the road. So maybe it's in the cab somewhere and I just can't see it. Okay, let's see. 
Why is that guy's voice all weird? All right, let me see. <laughs> Where are you going, Phil? Oh, is this a little bit of food? Nice. Oh, did I got poop again? Jeez. All right, there's a little bit of food here. What do you got? It's a can of gas. Get out of here. Oh, that didn't work. Well, maybe it's not gas. Yeah, it's gas. Come on. I'm stuck. A little bit stuck. Little stuck. Little stuck. Little stuck. Little stuck. What am I stuck on? Okay, there we go. What the heck? I still think you should get be able to drink gas to quench your thirst. All right, let me see. There we go. Oh my god, why is this not closed? What the hell? Okay. We got food, we need water, but there's a tap in here we can get from. I'm hoping to find a sponge or something, though. Drafty! Okay, turn this on, get a little water in us. Uh, okay. Oh, this chocolate's gone bad. All right. Ugh. Is that bullets? What kind of bullets are these? These are Rick Grimes bullets. Nice. Okay, we're stuck now. Okay. Ugh. Sweet, merciful crap. But well, we're getting these. We're going to use the up the AK until uh, we run out, and then we'll uh, switch to this. Well, this is this is great. Okay, I'll put this in four. Look, we've got more here. And then... Uh, yeah, no sponge, though. Check the roof. Oops. That, that's a good find, man. 36, there's three with four in there. It's like 100 and... What is it? 120 plus six plus six plus six. 120, 132, 144? Is it? Does that work out? That's something like that. Okay, let me see. Uh, well, four times six is 24, and three times four. Yeah. There we go. That's good, that's good. Okay, let's check up here. Damn it. Well, we're gonna have to be extra careful because we're bleeding. So, what are you? A bunch of headlights. Binoculars. Oh look, we got um, bullets for the air rifle. I'll get one of these too. Whoops, <coughs> excuse me, whoa. That kind of came out of nowhere. Surprise cough. That's closed. This is here. Sometimes if you stick it in your the path of your wheel and you hit it, it'll go absolutely sailing. Karen, you can't just hang. You know what? I'm not gonna. Hang it. No, it didn't work. Sometimes you you run over stuff, it goes flying out at 100 miles an hour. Okay, so we got to be careful for a little bit, not run into too much. Uh, you know, we got a fill house out there. I'll bet you we could find some scrubby or something in there. I'm going to cut this corner a little bit. Oh, no. No, we're not. Not with the grass coming into play. Ah, damn it. Yeah, you can't go through the grass with this many rocks kicking around. All right, come on, baby. I'm hoping we can find some sort of spray or something here. Because if we can find some spray, that'd be lovely. Or a sponge. 
Yeah, we got like, oh god, pay attention to the roadscape. What are you doing? Ooh, I don't like being in this grass because I can't cut across it to sneak around. It's like the game is just like, dun dun dun, now you gotta suffer through this crap. Oh no, and it's getting dark too. There's a bunch of fills, but I don't think they see me yet. Yeah, ten bullets. I thought I saw more than one. Missed. God damn it. God damn it! That was a waste of five bullets. All right, let me see. Look, guys, I just need a, a brush or something like that. This is cool it in water. No, this is not great. Frig. I'm not seeing anything. Sometimes there's stuff on the roof. Gotta be careful as friggin' rabbits. I'm so glad they're not here right now. Rabbits in the long grass are, are terrible. Let's sleep till morning. We'll take another closer look, but I don't think there's anything there. Ooh, you can just imagine a Phil reaching in the window to get you. <laughs> now what we'll do to check. Is, uh, I'll come around here like this. See if I can't see any cleaning products. No, I don't see anything. I see paint and what I think is a clock or something or a compass. Now, they could be upstairs for sure, but I say we just proceed onward. And uh, hope for the best. Yeah, I don't like this grass. This is messing with my head. Okay, come on, baby. Just relax. Just calm down. You know what I think would be a good addition for a POI, too, is that according to the radio stations, if you listen to them, and I've listened to them all several times, um, there's a cataclysmic event that caused all this. I don't want to ruin the story if anybody really wants to read it, watch it, but um, it wouldn't it make sense to have, like, maybe, like, aid stations around where they were trying to offer help, and now they're no longer thinking like medical stations, or, like, in the States, they would call it FEMA. We got out here. Oh, there's a house out there. Oh, we should definitely go check that, but how am I going to know? Because we're definitely going away from that. I, I can't see the rocks, though. That's the problem. this way for now um wait a minute Ooh, oh we got two pois now all right so let's head this way I'm 
try to avoid some rocks and we're gonna head right at it and then we'll just go backwards we'll try not to turn too much and we'll just head backwards okay we're getting into a little rock territory I can see it could have stayed on the road I guess but this is very dead right here Yeah, this is that really rare house you don't see very often. It almost reminds me of like, I know it's a house, but it almost reminds me of like a small church. Now with all these extra roads though, what makes it nice is you can kind of find your way back. A bit, oh, a bit easier than the old days. the heck is that? <gasps> Fandor! Fandor! Nothing good here. Is that, is that water? It's not water, but it's killing me. I'm assuming gas or oil then. Why is that stuck in there? Balls. Radiators. Nothing, okay. Now there's this always this little external room. Careful, sometimes it feels like to hide around behind. gas but I'm not seeing anything worthwhile here so we'll head back out there's a gas station up the way <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the game hates me right now all right let me see so I got the red car it blends in with the blood There we go. We're just about half a tank on this thing. Not bad. Hold on, Karen. We're turning around. Now, there it is over there. I can see that POI. So... I'm zooming in so I can see it before the grass gets me. It's not the grass, the rocks in the grass. So we just got to keep an eye out for rocks in the distance and adjust accordingly. Twice now, two of my playthrough in the grass, I found hollow spots where there's no terrain and you can follow through. Or fall through, I should say. And uh, that is a terrifying thing, let me tell you. I think we're going to make it back to the road anyway. Okay, yep, there we are. How close these roads are. Uh, is that a Phil standing outside? It's a Phil just floating in midair. I don't know why my car just turned off suddenly, but. I miss my job. I hated my job. But why is the ground fluctuating? You know what, buddy? If you're going to stick down in the hole, that's cool. I can live with that. Although he is quite a climber when he wants to be.
Like if we could stop drinking the gas, that would probably make it easier to get to where we're trying to get here. Okay. Headlights. Damn it. <laughs> oh, gross, buddy. <laughs> Have a tire, Phil. Damn it, nothing, eh? Okay. Oh yeah, we never did look for the other gauge, did we? There it is. Perfect. Okay. Karen was hiding it. She doesn't like me knowing how much gas I have. I make a lot of fart jokes when I uh, when I know, so it's, it's legitimate. I thought I saw something in the distance. Apparently, I'm wrong. Well, you know what? It's not so bad. We're 34 kilometers in. We definitely need to find something, though, to get rid of that blood. Was that? Is that a building? That might be a building. And we're coming up to a double building. The double buildings are crapshoots. Like, certain buildings have more common chance of having certain things. Like, the bunker building has always has a chance for a weeb sword. And the... The, uh, fill houses always have food. Like, it's just, it, there's certain things that show up on certain buildings. And it's weird, because the diner sometimes has food, but not always. And most of the food is usually in the garbage bin. Which is even weirder. That you almost, you very rarely just find it sitting, like, on the counter inside. <laughs> okay, avoid the, avoid the things. There we go. I was considering redoing um, My Summer Car. No, I'm kidding. Don't even ask. I suffered through that game once. The fact that people want me to play it again makes me bitter to no end. <laughs> I think we got a crappy tire coming up here. That game was so hard. Loved it, though. Absol Don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved it. But to put myself through that kind of hell again. Jeez. Uh, something over there. It would be cool, too, like a school. School would be neat to visit. Come on, boy, oh, baby. Oh, no, 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 no. What's happening? No, 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 no. Maroon lotion. No. No, I'll have dry skin. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Come here, you. That was it. That was intense. You gotta have the motion with the lotion, man. That's just the rules. There's a Grenadian tire over there. That would definitely have. Oh, yeah, of course, we're getting the opposite direction. Something over there, too, that I can't get to. Why is everything taking me away? I just want a little spray. Oh, come on, baby. Oh no, 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 there we go. Ah! I'm so nervous! Oh, oh god! Okay, yep, just, just. Oh. Mon dieu! Are. 
I see something. Oh God, I just, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, one make one mistake. One mistake and this runs over. That's all it takes. It just takes one mistake and now you have a baby. And you'll have to watch it for the rest of your life. Let's give it up for adoption. And then you'll probably get in an argument with your wife. Then don't give kids up for adoption unless your wife says that it's okay. That's a good way to get divorced. Yeah. Probably not going to make her day. All right. Whoa. Ugh, I sing too much. I realize. I gotta stop. Now I gotta give your kids up for adoption. It's stuck in my head. Alright, let me see. Hang on a sec. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I got something coming up. Alright. No, we don't. Do we have something? Oh, it's a double building. Frig. It's a little ways off. Jeez, it, um, it's, it's like the game's actively avoiding buildings for me. <laughs> yeah, look, see, look, now I'm driving away from it again. Christ. Eh. Oh, maybe we're gonna end up at that Canadian Tower. We're kind of coming back now. Why is what is happening? Why is there? Oh my God, am I gonna? You know, we're cutting here because it's just gonna make me come all the way around, jerks. All right. We're coming up to a house. But we just at that house. Look, let's turn the lights on so I can kind of see my dashboard a bit. Okay, it's a house. We should probably stop. Ugh, so bad. I don't hear a fill. Let's sleep. Get to morning. There we go. see anything. Whoa! Okay, not great. Whoa. What do you got for me? Ah, another AK. Psh. Boring. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, bring this out here. Whoa. There we are. What do you got for me? A whole engine. Like I need that. No, 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 no. I'm stuck in it. I'm stuck in it. I'm stuck in it. <laughs> I'm saving this right now. Because if I don't, this is what I'm talking about. Those boards are freaking dangerous, man. There, let me out. Let me thank you. Why won't this one break? Oh, 
heart sunglasses. All the sunglasses. All I want from you. It's like one sponge. Why is that so friggin' hard? Nice little engine, though. All right, moving on. Now, for the record, I wasn't going to save my game and reload it. If I die, I die. That's the whole thing. But uh, I just wanted to prove that it's repeatable. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, if I die, I die. That's fine. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. We're just about done, though. Which is, these, these episodes are taking too long. Man. I don't have an hour to record. What am I? Who am I? Markiplier? Jeez. Yeah, Mark. I know what you're up to over there. Yeah. Good work, bud. You do some fantastic work. You too, Jack, Septicai, Komodo, all these great YouTubers that just accidentally stumbled across my stuff. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't see. Um, Got to get our backs out of the sun. Forty-eight. Nice. I guess I'm just a Wichita line man. All right. Ooh. There's an old Glenn Campbell song for you. <laughs> There's people I say they can they can tell how old I am by the cartoons and stuff I talk about or the TV shows that I've watched. If I liked Glenn Campbell, I'd be like 70, all right? So, because <laughs> that's when he was famous. Like, well, I'd have to be on 70 to have enjoyed his music. And I am assuredly not 70, I promise. 49. 49.6. 7. 8. None. Should probably start thinking about slowing down here. There we go. Stop. Uh, we'll call it 50 even. Uh. All right. New truck. Lots of blood. It's been interesting. Okay, let me hop out here. What do we think, boys? Hot rod truck. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. If you didn't like this, well, you'll probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you so much for watching. Love every view I get. Cape Goat! I'm gonna give this tire a Canadian Slurpee. Out!